So good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360. Hope everyone's happy, safe, and well. I want to welcome you back to another edition of our Leaders and Customer Loyalty series. In this series, we talk to leading brands about what they are seeing and hearing on the front lines of customer channel and brand loyalty. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Jason Sparaka. He's a global director of customer experience at Ford Motor Company. Uh, they are a finalist also for the 2021 Loyalty 360 Awards in Customer Loyalty Innovation and Transformation. Uh, for their Ford Pass Reward Program, which is very unique. And I'm a member having uh, four Ford vehicles myself. So uh, they will deliver their final presentation during the Loyalty Expo this October, uh, like in a couple of weeks in Charlotte. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Mark, thanks for having us. And uh, thanks for your loyalty. We love hearing uh, people that have four Fords in the garage. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, big Ford guy, big F-150 guy. I have a few of those. Uh, so, uh, and I'm on the waiting list for a Bronco. So it should be good. Nice. We'd love to hear that. We'll have to get you signed up for an F-150 Lightning here pretty soon too. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, and my wife, uh, I'll be looking for a new wife probably right about then. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can figure that out. Um well, again, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Uh, I'd like to start these off with, uh, and I mean, get to know the people we're speaking with, uh, with regard to Ford, uh, but not most importantly, you, you know, from a personal perspective, you know, maybe a fun fact about you, your history, your role at Ford, uh, that'd be great yeah. to know. Yeah, um, so my name is Jason Spraka. I'm the Global Director of Customer Experience at Ford. And it's it's a it's really exciting time um, at Ford Motor Company as we begin to bring out an entirely revamped showroom, and you know with the Bronco and as we start to move into electric vehicles, really exciting time. But um, I lead customer experience around the world. It's an all new skill team at Ford Motor Company, and we're really leaning into the ownership experience and loyalty is a huge part of that, and and we're building Ford Pass Rewards, and, and, and we're really excited about the opportunities. Um, I guess a fun fact for me is I'm actually a fourth generation Ford employee. Um, it's, uh, our company is 118 years old, and you know, um, there's a lot of people that um, in my family that have worked for the company for a long time. And my great-grandfather worked at Highland Park Assembly building Model Ts way back in the day, and my grandma was a Rosie the Riveter, and um, my dad was an engineer for 32 years, so um, pretty great company to work for. Perfect. Uh, that's great to hear. Uh, fourth generation, that, uh, that's some uh, unique employee engagement and loyalty as well, so that's good <laughs> to hear. Absolutely. And for those who may not be familiar with Ford, uh, which I'm not sure who that would be, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Ford, the history, uh, and what you guys are doing uh, around customer experience, customer loyalty? Uh, sure. Yeah, um, well, Ford Motor Company has been around for 118 years. We uh, operate markets around the world. Um, we're the best-selling um, uh, brand in North America, and um, we're known for trucks, SUVs, um, our commercial vehicle business, and passion products with Mustang and Bronco, and, and frankly, small cars in Europe. Um, but the customer experience, organization is really here to take care of customers. Um, we spend a lot of time and a lot of people's efforts building great vehicles, and we want to um, build an experience around ownership that matches the great products we build around the world. And whether it's the service and maintenance experience, the shopping and purchasing experience, or just generally how we interact digitally with our customers, um, our customer experience team is really trying to um, become best in class and, and model um, the experiences around some of the best companies in the world um, and how they treat and take care of customers. Absolutely. Uh, I know you're a finalist in the 2021 uh, uh, Customer Loyalty, 3, Loyalty 360 Awards in the Customer Loyalty Innovation and Transformation category or Ford Pass Rewards program. Can you tell us a little bit about the program, uh, what it includes, and, and how important uh, the program is to what you're trying to do from a customer experience perspective? Sure. At Ford? sure. Yeah. Um, well, ultimately, the program is about... Um, taking care of our customers that have been so loyal to us. Um, Ford has the highest loyalty of any full line brand in America. And we wanted to build a program 
that thanked our customers for their um, loyalty to both our sales and our service experiences. And so several years ago, we built Ford, we built Ford Pass Rewards um, as, a, as a points-based, currency-based program um, where when you buy a new vehicle, we give you <clears throat> 42,000 Ford Pass Rewards points um, to kick off your ownership experience. Um, and, and that's enough to effectively cover your first three oil changes um, in, in that experience, in that ownership experience. And, and we really wanted to build the program around service loyalty leading to sales loyalty. Um, and, and frankly, there's so much opportunity in the future of automotive. Um, when we sat down to build the program, we were, we were really struggling with engagement. And, you know, the automotive experience is pretty low engagement historically. You buy a car, you service it once a year, and then you move on. Um, and, and building a loyalty program a lot around a low engagement model is, is, is kind of challenging. But as, as we start to move into the digitally connected vehicle, always on experiences, electric vehicles, um, we know that there are going to be many, many, many more engagement opportunities with our customers. And so we wanted to build a loyalty program that could flex and grow as we become a more digitally driven company. So um, we built the currency based program um, with both sales and service earned and redeemed. And then one of the other factors that's really important to us is to give our customers flexibility of how where and when they use their points. And so we really leave it up to the customer. They can take their points to any dealership in, in the United States. And, and so in so doing, we crafted a program that was really unique in the franchise model that if you have Ford Pass Rewards points, you can walk into any one of 3,100 Ford dealers and they're gonna take care of you um, in a unique and special way. So. Um, that's the that's the platform. We knew we needed to start with a points and currency based program, and then since we've we've started to really grow um, how how we think about the program, adding our credit card, we're adding tiers, and then we're starting to add new feature experiences within the program um, to really take it to the next level. Okay, excellent. When you look at the uh, the session, um, you know what are you going to share with conference attendees in the award presentation? I think you talked a little bit about you know how you're transforming the uh, kind of the program, the award, the process. You know, focusing on kind of the digital transformation. You know, sure. what are what are a few key takeaways that the attendees can expect to learn from your nomination? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that we said from the very beginning is we weren't going to just build a points based program and then be done. If we were going to fund Ford Pass Rewards, we were going to do it in a way that we had a cycle plan of experiences. Every year, we'd be adding new things to the broader platform, new experiences, and we keep casting the, wet, the net wider and wider and, and frankly will um, allow us to really have Ford Pass Rewards be the core of our customer experience um, now and into the future at Ford. Um, we're also presenting in the, the mobile first category and you know, a, an automobile, a connected automobile um, at this point is, is a mobile experience. And with modems and remote access, the interaction that Ford Pass um, gives our customers the ability to lock and unlock their car, start their um, engine, you know, um, schedule charging for electric vehicles, schedule service and maintenance. It really becomes the hub of ownership, um, pay bills through Ford credit. There's a, there's a million things that customers can do in that Ford Pass environment um, in, in a mobile first kind of way that allows us to supplement those experiences with Ford Pass rewards. 
Absolutely. That's great. Um, and, and, and partnerships are a huge area that we see uh, from Multi360. We have about 130 members now, and sure. uh, we have a partnership network that really helps them facilitate those partnerships, whether it's a health and wellness partnership uh, or it could be kind of a, a promotional partnership. So it sounds like you guys are doing some really great things in that regard as well. So that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited about, I think that's the like next undefined steps for us is how do we think about um, partnerships? Um, and in fact, we talk about partnerships as for it as like internal partners and then external partners. There is a lot of things that are happening um, in Ford Motor Company where we wanna bring Ford Pass Rewards as an asset and a tool to partner with other organizations, other brands, other businesses within Ford Motor Company um, from a partnership approach. And then we're also, thinking extensively with um, our um, agency um, suppliers about what are the next external partnerships that we really want to want to lean into. Absolutely. Great. When you look at the, uh, the home delivery market for vehicles, it's uh, you know something that's very important, and I think you recently expanded the, the home delivery service uh, and by making it available to the you know the 8.5 million Ford Pass Reward members nationwide. Can you tell us uh, about the thoughts uh, in that went into adding that service and and, and you know what it means to uh, Ford going forward? Yeah. No. Um, thanks for the question, Mark. Um, we're we're really excited about um, Ford Pass Rewards pickup and delivery. Um, we know in the automotive industry that um, servicing and maintaining your vehicle is something that takes customers out of their everyday lives, whether it's work or being at a kid's ball game or just being at home relaxing, taking care of your vehicle takes time out of your day. And, and customers don't necessarily want to sit at a dealership while they're having their vehicle worked on. We also know that, um, we study, you know, automotive, I'm sorry, airline and um, hotel loyalty programs a lot and, and try and learn from their tiers approach about how they treat their best customers with unique experiences. Their best customers get their best experiences. And then historically in automotive, you know, if you'd bought one car or like you, five cars, everyone kind of got treated the same. And and, and that's not fair, right? Like a great customer uh, like yourself, Mark, like we want to treat you differently. We want to give you better experiences. And so combining those two, two things um, is, is something that we really looked at. And so recently in September, we launched our tiers program, bronze, silver, and blue tiers um, for Ford Pass Rewards, and then offered pickup and delivery across those tiers. So we do it in a voucher-based approach where customers in the top tier get two vouchers for pickup and delivery. If they have any service needs, they can just use their voucher and we'll come get their vehicle, take it to service, take care of everything, and then bring it back to home or work. And That's then awesome. one, one voucher middle tier, and then we actually allow our base tier to use points to step up to the experience if they haven't earned it yet. So it's a re I think it's a really cool um, program design where it takes this like really appealing feature for our customers that it's expensive to execute, um, but allows us to give, um, give it to our best customers and gives access to it um, for everybody in the program. Okay. Uh, one of the things that you, with the automobile industry, uh, we know J.D. Power, we've interviewed him a couple of times in the past, very, very smart guy, he's spoken at conferences. You know, there's always been kind of a disconnect between the dealership network and the, the brand, right, and integrating this. How, how was the brand uh, with regard to, or the dealership network with regard to this program, getting it sold in, getting it bought in, getting it accepted? Um, sure. how, how were they with that? Um, well, um, they were great. This is a program that we um, designed with our dealers. Um, we designed it in partnership. We have 30 dealers in the U.S. And, and we're, we believe they're critical to delivering the experience for Ford Motor Company. And so our whole field organization and our dealer network is bought into Ford Pass Rewards. And, you know, it, we're not perfect. 
we got we got lots of room for improvement mm -hmm. um but um it is key to our growth we talk a lot about um growing um organic growth through experiences and we believe ford pass rewards and those experiences at our dealerships um is one of the surest ways um to that organic growth okay Excellent. Uh, so I think you uh, added tiers recently to the program, a blue, a silver, a bronze uh, to re you know, reward and recognize your most loyalty, uh, most loyal customers. You know, how, how is that uh, working for you, adding the tiers? And, and what are you seeing with regard to maybe engagement levels or some metrics you know, with those new tiers? Well, it's so recent. We're only 30 days into launching the tiers, so we don't have a ton of engagement metrics yet. Um, but we know there are some super loyal customers to Ford Motor Company. And as I just mentioned, you know, pickup and delivery is sort of our first entree into the tier structure. Um, but we have um, many, many more things um, that we're thinking about. Nothing to share here yet today, but um, we really believe that that tier structure is going to allow us to affordably deliver out standing experiences to our best customers and really delineate how we um, how we spend our experience um, capital investment and and really deliver for the business and also for our customers okay that makes sense when you look at the uh kind of the, the customer loyalty landscape we always uh, like to understand how brands are defining or kind of talking about different terms, customer loyalty being the most important one. You know, what does customer loyalty mean to uh, Ford and, uh, you know, your organization? What does it mean to you? Yeah. Um, so going back to our history a little bit, um, Ford Motor Company is a 118 year old family owned um, operation. Um, while we are a publicly traded company, um, we are still created by the Ford family. And um, in fact, my boss is Elena Ford and, you know, Bill Ford is our chairman. We have Ford family members throughout the company. And, and from an employee experience, it's very much a family, um, family atmosphere. And we talk a lot about treating customers like family and Though we don't want to treat them as if it were a business, we want to treat them as they were family. And when we do that, and when we um, create experiences they'll love, they'll be loyal to us because we make we make fantastic products um, in uh, across our showroom, and those products um, give us the right um, to have great customers. But how we treat them and how we take care of them will ultimately um, determine how loyal they are to us. And, and like I said before, we, are, we have the highest loyalty of any automotive manufacturer in the US, um, but we think there's lots of room for opportunity to improve on that. And, and Ford Pass Rewards, pickup and delivery, and a lot of the things that we're working on in customer experience are um, gonna take that to even higher heights. Right. And when you look at your loyalty program, and can you uh, give us uh, two or three things you think the, the program is doing well for Ford and for the brand? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know if this is too basic, but uh, we have a lot of evidence um, that we're we're really growing our service loyalty. Um, the historical automotive pattern is buy a car, maybe you maintain the first time maybe you maintain the second time, and then you're off to your independent repair facilities, your local guy that you, you know that does service and maintenance. Once you're out of the warranty, our dealers very rarely see customers. And so um, we know that Ford Pass Rewards is starting to build incredible amounts of service loyalty back to our dealerships. And I think this is, again, where I get really excited about how we change the service experience and add the currency of Ford Pass Rewards. Like you give them a good experience and give them the currency and, and, and the loyalty benefits of points. And um, we have a really, really um, profitable opportunity for the company. So 
I think service loyalty is the first step. Um, I'm excited about the engagement we're getting with our Ford Pass Rewards credit card. Um, we're only just tapping into those opportunities now. And, and where we go from there is, is really um, a factor of execution. Um, but the amount of spending and engagement we have on customers that have the Ford Pass Rewards credit card is fantastic. And, and I think has a lot of opportunity to change the sort of the purchase and loyalty model um, within Ford. Absolutely. Uh, personalization is very important for brands. Uh, you know, what do you see as the opportunity or in, and maybe some of the potential challenges, technology, doing it at scale uh, regarding personalization? Yeah, um, I would say partnerships and personalization is where we really need to go next. I think tiers helps us with that. I think historically we haven't had the ability to like identify who our best customers are. And, and so now we have a better sense because of the tiers program of who our best customers are and then allowing us to personalize that more. Um, there's also um, a lot of data and enterprise work going on at Ford Motor Company across all of our digital channels that are gonna lead to greater levels of personalization. That includes your web, your Ford Pass app experience, personalization in the contact center experience when you call. And then there's tons of personalization um, growth happening um, in vehicle. And, and so this common data platform that we're building will allow us to um, take those engagement levels to places like we've never been able to personalize experiences in vehicle and out of vehicle for customers. And we're building the Ford Pass Rewards platform to live with them in all of those channels they experience. Okay. When, when you look at uh, personalization, I'm uh, sorry, partnerships, you look at partnerships, uh, that's a, a huge area, growing area for brands as well. Uh, you know, alignment uh, that is between the customers potentially. Uh, you know, in, in brands want to figure out partnerships that work that can strengthen both uh, in a kind of reciprocal manner. You know, how has your uh, you know has Ford looked at partnerships traditionally in the past? And now that you have a loyalty program, you know, how do you see partnerships potentially uh, rolling up uh, into the, the, that program? Yeah. I think there's a lot of exciting things um, that um, we have as opportunities um, in partnerships. I think the biggest challenge that we're sort of spending time trying to disaggregate right now is um, we have many distinct brands within the brand that is Ford Motor Company. The needs of an F-Series customer and what they want to partner with are very different than the needs and sort of lifestyle um, brands that maybe an Expedition or Explorer customer may wanna partner with or a Mustang customer. And so what we're trying to think through is, do we wanna have a, a Ford partnership approach or do we wanna think about almost personalized and nameplate driven partnerships that are really specific and really targeted to the owners of an F-Series, say, for example. Like, you may be really interested in the home building industry if you own an F-150. But if you own an Explorer, you're probably maybe not quite as interested in that partnership. And the same is true with a Mustang or any of our battery electric vehicles that are coming out. So we're really taking the time to think about, like, how do we put one foot in front of the other that we're, make, we're building partnerships that are relevant to all of Ford Motor Company customers, and then subsequently really specific brand integrations um, with, our, with our partners and our customers at the nameplate level. Okay, excellent. That's, that's a great approach, I think, because it gets back to that personalization as well. Understanding, being able to listen to and understand your customers is a huge imperative today. So it, it's great to hear what you're doing there. Yeah. 
So when you look at uh, customers, uh, it's a big discussion and when our, within our community, how customers are changing, how do you respond to that customers what, you know, and what that looks like. You know, how do you feel your customers are changing and are you seeing that in the automotive industry in general or is there uh, some particularities with regard to, you know, the, uh, the, the F-150 that may be different than others? You know, you know how are your customers changing? Um, I mean, I think our customers, you know, we talk always, and, and this is just a, you know, a very common term in, in customer experience and loyalty conferences, but we really believe our customers are changing because the whole world is changing, right? And, and they come to us comparing, demanding an experience that's equal to their last best experience their hotel or airline or um, online e-commerce experience that was smooth, easy, quick, um, from the comfort of their own home or really personalized experiences that they get in the rest of the, their life, they want out of their automotive experience. And that is not something historically that automotive has done well. And so we're really trying to change our our entire enterprise from a customer experience perspective, and even our dealer body to come along on that journey and how we serve customers um, and when and where we serve our customers, I think is really critical. And so really trying to embrace that, like wherever the customer, whatever channel or whatever location they want to do business with us, um, we're going to try and figure out a way to make that happen. And so that's been that isn't easy in the automotive space, and especially when you you know you got 3,100 independently owned and operated franchise dealers. Um, that's a hard journey to go on, but uh, I think we're headed in the right direction, and really excited where we're headed. Okay, great. When you look at KPIs for your programs metrics, and what are some of the KPIs that you and your team look at for the efficacy of your customer loyalty, customer experience efforts? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, we look at a, a bevy of engagement rates and we really still think, I mean, it's a couple of years old now, but in the life of um, an automobile purchase, um, we, like, we're kind of in the first couple innings of, of, of Ford Pass Rewards. And so we're really learning um, like we don't have as many engagement opportunities. And so, you know, we're looking at um, first oil change return. We're looking at um, repair order size. So when they come back for service, um, how much are they spending? So sort of um, cart size, if you would, in the e-commerce um, uh, comparators. We're looking at... Um, you know, dealer loyalty, um, what are our customers moving points across dealerships. Um, so we're spending a lot of time in that service loyalty space. And then on the credit card, um, you know, engagement levels, monthly spending, um, average ticket sizes um, are really important to us to see those engagement levels. Because what we, what we were worried about is like, a sign up at purchase, get the card, don't use it. Um, we want, we know that the Ford Pass Rewards credit card may not be top of, top of wallet, but we want pretty heavy um, share of wallet on the automotive purchase space. And we think we've built um, a lot of great value into the card with our partners at uh, uh, First National Bank of Omaha and um, Visa to create an automotive sort of transportation focused credit card that really starts to build value, not just into the service loyalty opportunities for our customers, but their next purchase and really starting to build those points values so that when they return to buy their next vehicle, they really have a lot, um, they have a lot of points banked um, for, for, for their next big um, vehicle purchase, which we know for customers is oftentimes the first or second biggest purchase in their life. What, is that capped at a certain amount that they can earn towards the next car? Uh, no. It is not? No. 
Oh, well, okay, great. When you look at uh, you know the next big thing for customer loyalty, what what is uh, Ford's uh, next big thing around customer loyalty? I really think, I mean, we talked about it a bit here is, is personalization. Um, almost a unique experience down to the customer level. And, you know, we have eight and a half million, yeah. we have eight and a half million members and we're trying to start treating them uniquely in large chunks. But okay. as we get to know those customers and build engagement models with them, we really want to um, create um, unique and really personalized experiences. That's awesome. That's it. That's great. And the last question we have, somewhat self-serving, you know, what can Loyalty 360 do uh, for you to help you in your customer loyalty journey? Yeah. Um, you know, um, Ford Pass Rewards is only a couple of years old. We built it from the ground up. Um, I'm excited. This will be my first Loyalty 360 conference. I'm excited to get there, learn from um, other leaders in the industry. I think actually just this morning, we were talking about um, our team org design, like how many people, what's the structure, how, how do we align credit cards and in-market work and um, where does strategy come in? Um, and so I'm excited to learn from other Loyalty 360 members, like how you build and grow your team with a growing program and how do you man manage, you know, the day-to-day -day challenges versus the long-term future and, and, and what are those interaction models on the team? Are they fully embedded? Are there, are there agency resources? Um, how do you integrate IT and data into them? Are they separate skill teams? Is it a, is a fully functioned um, uh, sort of product team. I think that's the part that I'm most looking forward to just um, learning from Loyalty 360 and, and the overall membership. Okay, great. Well, I think it's uh, been very interesting hearing about uh, Ford Pass. Uh, I should probably should be a little more active in, in my membership, but Jason, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It, uh, it's great hearing from a, a great brand like Ford and looking forward to meeting you in person. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. Thank you everyone for watching today and please join us again for another edition of our Leaders in Customer Loyalty series. Have a wonderful day.